so far in the first half. JC corner shot. Got a layup earlier. Now gets a corner shot, and it's declared a three. There was a, a semifinal series where Intal really came in and really was a big factor for this squad. You know, all of a sudden, his name was really in high esteem. But I don't know if they went to the finals, then he got lost again. I know? think so. Parang ganun eh, bigla na wala na naman nung This is where me can help you. But he's a little bit long with that. I think it was against Rain or Shine? I'm, no, no, no. I, or Talk and Text. I, I'm One not, of those things. Yeah, but, yeah. but I, maybe against Talk and Text. Yeah, against Talk and Text. I think 2009, yeah. Where he really had a very, very good semi-final series. Then they, I think they played Alaska or some I don't know. Yes, I don't uh, remember. Or I think it was Alaska. It was Alaska. And somebody will write, no, it was Pure Foods. In the meantime, underneath, Wilson. Oh boy, he ended up with nothing. 34 26. In the corner, we go Danny I. Nice cut by Finisi. And look at all his teammates jump up. Nick is never noted for the cutting in and finishing well, off. But he's very wily. He heard the whistle. So he went off balance. He throws it up so he can go to the free throw line. That's the black swan move. Eight point lead being enjoyed by San Miguel. 10 minutes and 11 seconds. And Eric Mack is going to the scorer's table. And uh, all the Inebra fans will see his face later on on the Big Q, biggest indoor LED installation in the country. Just built from the USA. And as Dr. J pointed out, same LED scoreboard you'll find in the uh, venues of the Heat as well as the Magic. No um, uh, matter how far you are seated, I've tried it going around and you can see the game, everything so clearly. Well, both of those teams are on winning sticks. Yep. The Magic, I think, eight. And uh, the Heat also on a long winning stick. They've settled down, I know, huh? That's a little <coughs> bit long. Eric Mengdel gets the rebound. See, that's the other thing gets to the boards he's a threat now you have a 6-9 and you have a 6-6 six, six, maybe 6-7 six, player they're a little bit slower but they can play the half court game now they also have people that can run so that's not a problem and they will give second chances off the offensive board as well and here he attacks Danny Delfonso right away and keeps the ball alive but it will go the other way Paul Artadi coming into the ball game for Denok Miranda but not getting a very good rest so far here played straight for eight minutes and right now he's been resting for about seven minutes of playing time so total maybe that might be about 12 to 15 minutes and it'll be a fresh as a daisy Ooh. nice pass joseph yo who did not score in game number one gets this fee from artadi can't really believe what's happening to Hinebra. they're supposed to be the number one defensive team in the elimination round and now they cannot defend well, no flopping on the part of uh, that's what JJ probably telling our daddy. No yeah. flopping here. <laughs> Defend. Stay on your toes. Yeah. Stay on your <laughs> feet. <laughs> our daddy now looking inside. Tries to draw it in. Close it. Bounces it over to Danny. Nudged away. Shot clock coming down to six seconds. Here comes the ninja. Tapped gently away by Miller. Enough to yank it free. That was very good defense there by the Jim Kings on, the, on that one. Uh, Mank using his left hand on a hook, just barely missing. Well, alam naman natin, matagal na hindi naglalaro yan. So, you really got to get the feel of the court first, no? the basket, everything. 10-point lead being enjoyed by the beer men. That's an adrenaline yan, ang taas, nakalaro ulit, salvasyo, pops. Well, it's money time. <laughs> so, you got to play. It's <laughs> play. Here's Intel, a bit of congestion on the Ginebra offensive set. There's a foul. Could be on Salvation. Black. Yeah, on the move of uh, Intal. I ah, know it's on Paul Arcadi, I'm sorry. Okay. Trying to help out. Jin Kings have a 13 second shot clock. 14 that is. Yancey will backpedal. <laughs> There's a foul. Could be on Pinisi. What was only missing there was the interesting reaction from Pinisi, who, when it's called for a foul, is one of the best reactions. I think he accepted it quickly. 
Well, you know, Mick is not worried about fouling out on this team. <laughs> he doesn't really get the playing time to really want to stay on the floor for 40 minutes. But he boxed out well, and he almost had it, but Mank is there. Mank trying to make a decision against Finisi. Huge shot clock. Hook shot! No! That really hurts. That was a two-on-one big man, and Yancy de Ocampo, instead of taking it hard, throws up a soft hook. Ten-point lead, 7.46 to go. Foul away from the scene of the ball. Yes, yes it's on Yancy Bill Campo. Foul number one. Even now with the new scoreboard, Dr. J, we can see the team fouls very clearly on all the important data of the game. But three team fouls on Barangay Hinebra, 14 fouls against San Miguel, seven and a half minutes left, second quarter. San Miguel has been limited to six points in this quarter. He never hasn't done that. Only five. Joseph Yost straight, but a bit too strong. That's traveling. His right foot dropped to the floor as he passed off at the last moment. Seven eighteen, ten point game. San Miguel in the lead, leading the series one game to nil. Miller trying to go to Mac, trying to get him in the flow of the action. They want to pick up that fifth foul, 15 foul, for a good swipe from behind by Danny Rufonso. Artadi changes direction. A little too fancy on that shot. I think he could have gone straight up. He didn't have to go with the reverse layup. Dude. Oh, almost a miscue again. Miller tied up. Somebody's arm there. Danny I is jumping away from your picture and he could not believe that the foul was on him that's going to be the 15 foul now for san miguel which is what i thought in was trying to go after that's why they were going to the big man at the post kagiwa coming in for intal and we have uh, hatfield coming in for yancy de ocampo a little more action at the front line in terms of substitutions here today Washington about to come into Danny Alfonso will now be charged with a technical foul. Didn't want to stop talking, talking. <laughs> or showing his emotion about the resentment to that call. Nagtago mo na sa ilalim. Bumalik ulit. Napauwi na yung bata, bumalik pa, naglap eh. Eh, nakalimutan niya yung wallet niya doon eh. Baka ah, okay. sa eskwela, baka hindi ka babalik. At saka di ba yun sa larong kali? Akin yung bola eh, bakit ba? <laughs> Mr. Hendy ko ako, pinapalo ng mga tiklaro. Let me get this right. I think he's congressman I from Tala. I think so. Nanalo ng huling eleksyon. Ano ha? Samantala, Jay. Hindi lang nanalo eh. Uncontested. Uncontested yata. And challenge. Paul Artadi always surprised when he's so open. Well, you shouldn't be surprised because yeah. people are really uh, going to challenge no. him I to make that first shot. You, know? you make two, they were coming after yeah. you. you know? But after, before that, go ahead and make the shot. Whoa! Almost off the inbound, but Mank is there to clean up the mess. You know, Mank may have not scored, but he's forcing a lot of things that good happening for Hinebra. It's just that Hinebra cannot score either. There's some people whose presence lights up a room, Dr. Oh, oh. Well, he's an MVP also yeah. of the PBA. <laughs> Shot clock now beginning to be a problem. Spark. Lead down to seven from a high of 12. Game moving briskly, 5.47 to play, second period. Sunday. Second, second shot clock for the Bearmen. Jaywash. Jay 
Griffin scoring game for Jay was in double figures now, 10 points, and you cannot stop that shot. I mean, you're giving him space to take a long shot so he won't drive on you. But then he's 6'7", so when he stops on a dime to shoot against you, you have a problem. Artadi celebrating, forcing that turnover. And we will slide into a timeout, San Miguel by nine. Back with us here at the Adonato Coliseum, 40-31 is the cut. Mark Aguila, great uh, tail end of the elimination phase or the classifications. And uh, he tried very hard towards the end game of number one, tried to bring back that brilliance of those shots you're seeing right now, but had some problems, and that's what he ended up with. Well, from the free throws, that hurt him because he's a very decent free throw shooter. But those are good numbers for him. You know, now you're sharing the honors, 16 points, 8 rebounds. That's pretty good numbers there for uh, the spark. Arwin Santos back in the ball game. That guard line trying to get coordinated. They're down by nine. The outside shooting of San Miguel has been a charm for them. Ten on the timepiece. Sidestepping motion. Elter Brand collects his first it's ball. Arstadi will visit for the free throw line. Cheska joins the space. Coming off of their nail biter of a first game in the semifinal series, Coach At Augustin knows that they that, that the Barangay Hinebra Kings will be denying Jay Wash, uh, who finished with 19 points in the first game and actually has 10 points in this game already. He also made adjustments in their, uh, he also made adjustments in terms of the pick and roll when it comes to Barangay Hinebra. They need to look for the offensive rebounds, and he also knows that if you want to win easy with the Jin Kings, which is pretty much impossible. Malaki dapat ang lamang ninyo. So that is what San Miguel is working on early in the game. Seven, Andy. Maganda yun, oh. malaki lamang mo para may puhunan ka. <coughs> may kutsun. Well, kutsun. Even in our civilized world, kailangan ka. Marami ka rin puhunan. Para <laughs> marami ka mapupunta. Eh. Uh, you always uh, have to save for that uh, rainy day. Yeah. <laughs> like January, tagal ng sweldo. Tapos na yung muling sweldo. In the meantime, pag ikot ni Villanueva, we have a foul. And uh, San Miguel is in the penalty, so Rico Villanueva will go to the free throw line, be tested from there. But he's doing very decent from the free throw line compared of late, yes, to his uh, previous seasons, so, whether with Purefoot or with the Nebron. He was three out of four in game number one. Yeah, that's one. seventy-five percent. That's more than passing. That's more than <laughs> passing for Rico. But he's really made some adjustments. Uh, watching the game uh, earlier for Lando. Maganda na rin ang adjustment ni Dwight Howard sa kanyang free throw shooting. I think once you settle in or get comfortable with a particular release, oh. I think it's like uh, it's like golf, I guess. I think uh, the mechanics are only 10 to 15 percent. The confidence level uh, factor is 85 percent to 90 percent. Will you please say that to me again the next time I meet a Jabong in yeah. any of the golf courses? Well, That's the best advice. I know, if you if, if in golf you don't want the shot, you don't want to take the shot, back off. Because you're not going to get a good one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it all starts somewhere between the ears, huh, Dr. J? In the meantime, that's good oh, defense. Nearly. J. Watch keeps it alive with the second remaining. Oh, he almost made it to beat the buzzer. The 24 second shot clock. That was good defense by Tubid all the way. Willie Marshall, our good friend from the media, coming I, I wonder why he's approaching us. What's in on his mind? In the meantime, Villanueva. He's just happy to see us together. Yeah, I guess so. Let him, does he still know how to do this job as a scorer? I wonder. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll lift the Tira Nigagiwa. Below the four minute mark. Jay Wash claimed he was nipped on the arm. It might have been too because it was an air ball. Monteveros back on the hardwood after a fiery, fiery first quarter of play. Well, that very hot player, the hot shot from Cebu, Queen City of the South. Yeah. Four three point shots in the first quarter. There is Kagiwa. That's a yes. better lift. You can see that. A lot of rhythm there, catching it, coming, picking the ball with his left hand and just moving it up together with his right. And we will have a ceasefire 
And we will be back here at the Big Dome, the Araneta Coliseum in Cubao, Quesa City, briefly. Barangay Ginebra, they had their chances to win game number.